The Ministry of Tourism and the St. Lucia Tourism Authority are happy to have the Vacation Rental Association represented here tonight. We are indeed proud to showcase the finest in a journey of discovery of over 400 special gems strewn throughout the island. At this time, I invite none other than Ms. Deepa Gidhari of the Ministry of Tourism to tell you a little more about our special gems. Over the years, the formal accommodation sector has grown significantly through the tremendous support of the Ministry of Tourism by way of incentives. And this has been characterized by the growth of all of the all-inclusive properties. The hosting of Cricket World Cup in 2007 provided an opportunity for locals to invest in the accommodation sector through the special sunset legislation in an effort to accommodate the much anticipated stayover arrivals for the games. Such a policy position saw an increase in the number of registered small properties opening up for business. Our tourism industry was severely impacted by the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic, but thanks to some very strategic thinking and the collaborative efforts of the various agencies and ministries, a phased reopening approach was used to revive the tourism industry. One such move was the registration of all tourism stakeholders with the Ministry of Tourism and participation in the process of gaining COVID-19 compliance certification. This exercise led to the reality that the number of properties originally thought to have operated were far greater and that they are spread island-wide. Today, the Ministry of Tourism has certified 391 small properties for the resumption of business. Such a significant number certainly needed more attention from a policy perspective, and as such, the need to market the small properties under a brand became evident. We take this opportunity to congratulate the ministry in changing the landscape of tourism through the passing of the Community Tourism Act last week, which will provide more opportunities for development of small properties within the communities, at galleries, parks, sites and attractions, to name a few. The Ministry of Tourism is also pleased to have partnered with the St. Lucia Tourism Authority in making the new brand a reality. With the reopening of the tourism industry, the Ministry of Tourism saw significant growth in the small properties subsector. And as such, it was felt that these small medium enterprises be branded in an effort to boost image, improve quality, and improve sales and arrivals to our shores. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority dedicates a significant amount of resources marketing our destination overseas as one which is unique, high quality, value for money, and this supports our statement in the St. Lucia Tourism Strategy and Action Plan 2020 to 2030, which states, St. Lucia will consistently achieve above average growth in high value sustainable tourism. To achieve a high value sustainable tourist destination, the Ministry of Tourism plays its role by ensuring that the product is one of high quality and meets both national and international standards. Our standards for this new brand were developed through the revision of entry requirements developed under the Caribbean Experiences brand, which was part of an OAS step program, and the CrossQ approved national minimum standards for accommodation. To participate in this new program, small properties, meaning those with under 35 rooms, will be required to be COVID-19 compliant in accordance with the COVID-19 Act number 74 of 2020, and successfully complete an onboard survey which, access, which assess the prospective applicant against the general entry requirements outlined in the St. Lucia National Standards number 22 of 2012, 
Part 1, Specification for Tourist Accommodation. These entry requirements include legal and general requirements, physical requirements, general and safety requirements, requirements for public areas, and requirements for private areas. Once the successful applicant has met these qualifying criteria, the property will be listed into the program and on the St. Lucia Tourism Authority's website. It is important to note, however, that there will be continuous spot checks on the ground to ensure that the information provided in the onboard survey is what obtains. There will be continuous monitoring of participants who register in the program, and some of these monitoring mechanisms include guest comments or complaints of the property, its management practices, its services rendered, non-compliance with appropriate licenses and permits, to name a few. Where a participating small property is found in default, we will work with that property, but in the event that a property fails to make the necessary upgrades, it will be delisted. Tourism stakeholders are all too aware of the price to be paid when a company's image is negatively impacted. Therefore, participants will be required to uphold their end by ensuring that their product continuously meets the fully-fledged standards set within this program. It is important to note that this is a precursor to the community tourism brand and that our ministry will work with the relevant agencies to encourage further development of locally owned properties, thereby encouraging the spirit of getting more visitors to come to the community camp, increasing the visitor's experience and distribution of wealth. The Ministry of Tourism therefore looks forward to working with its sister agency and the participants in making this initiative a successful one. I thank you. I'm going to talk a bit about how we, um, how we came, came up with the idea, um, how we conceptualized it, how we see it working, that sort of thing. So um, Deepa touched a bit on this. How did we identify the need? We spend a lot of time and energy, as you know, uh, promoting St. Lucia, promoting St. Lucia's properties. Deepa mentioned that in, uh, during the uh, pandemic, everything shut down. When the very phased, very careful reopening started, the, the government made the effort to uh, COVID certify all of the properties. This meant that very quickly we were seeing really large numbers of properties that we were not aware of. Um, they were all COVID certified. Um, at today's count, we have 435 COVID certified properties on the island, and they're spread throughout the island, and most of them are under 35 rooms, and the vast majority of them we didn't know about, so we, we were not including in our, in our activities. With those numbers becoming apparent, um, it Obviously, we needed to sit up and take note and start to include these properties. The variety of properties made the effort a difficult one. We're talking about boutique hotels that offer gourmet dining. We're talking about small hotels. We're talking about inns, we're talking about apartments and townhouses and villas and rooms even in, in, in people's homes. The range of properties was quite astounding. So we felt we had to come up with a concept that was able to meet all of the, the needs of all of those types of properties. So we worked very hard on the concept. We leaned very hard on our French friends who are here tonight, who, will, uh, who are always standing in the background there somewhere. We, we wanted to, first of all, um, look at a, co a collection. It was a collection of properties, a very diverse collection of properties, and 
we also thought it would be a good idea or an acceptable idea to lean on St. Lucia's French heritage because a very large number of the property names that we were seeing are French. And as you know, a very large number of the community names are French and it, it worked well. Um, we found that over 30% of the properties had French names and we liked the idea of the French giving a, a level of sophistication, if you like, to the effort. It meant that the higher end properties would be comfortable with that and the, um, the more budget properties or the more authentic properties, if you like, would be pleased to be a part of that as well. So we started to work on the brand. The idea is that all of these properties present a wonderful opportunity to dive into what is an amazing treasure trove of, of wonderfulness to try to find a thing that is just right for you. So the word that pops up in the brand, which I will introduce to you a bit later, is a French word for a small piece of something very precious, like a gold nugget. And its, it's exceptional quality is the thing that draws you to it and attracts attention. It's generally something that people are searching for, they search hard for, and when they find it, it brings them an extreme amount of satisfaction and happiness even. It's a, it's a, it's a journey to find joy. And if you find one of these properties that's just right for you, uh, this uh, hopefully something that is enchanting to you, um, it's precious to you for whatever reason. It may be that you just want a room because you're here for your Schengen visa at the French embassy. You just want a room near to VG airport. Or it could be at the other end of the scale where you want a, an extremely private luxury hotel uh, that offers gourmet dining. These are all very charming properties, very distinctive, very, very varied, varied, very varied. Um, and we believe that they bring you closer to a more authentic experience of St. Lucia. And finding one is, is what will bring you your happiness. So here's a little something that we pulled together. For those of you looking for something a little different, maybe a little off the beaten track, a little more intimate or just right, maybe a villa for your multi-generational family vacation to celebrate a big milestone, or a romantic cottage nestled in the rainforest with stunning sea views, or even a modern townhouse in a gated community in the heart of Rodney Bay, or a luxury boutique hotel offering gourmet dining. There are just so many wonderful options to choose from, and there's something for everyone. Find your St. Lucia sweet spot. So we have a, a very detailed plan in place for, for marketing the brand. Um, of course, as we mentioned, all of them, anyone who wants to be in the, in the program must be under 35 rooms and COVID certified and must go through the onboarding survey that, that Deepa mentioned. Uh, we have established a dedicated landing page on stlucia.org. So when you visit stlucia.org, you'll be able to see all of the properties on the island as well as select Collection de Pipit. If you're a more independent traveler or you're looking, looking for something special, the properties that have um, chosen to be a part of the program and have been allowed to join it will be easily um, accessible. And the work that we will be doing will be, deri will be directing traffic, dra directing attention to, the, to that dedicated landing page. The stlucia.org landing page is very focused on, uh, on creating direct sales for properties. So what we do is we create a mini, land, a mini landing page for every single property. There's a description, there's up to 20 photographs, there's a, a map that shows where it is, the, all the facilities are listed, the contact information, the website is all there. The idea being that if it intrigues you on stlucia.org, you don't have to go far and check other places to get all of that information. You can check availability from our site, um, you can check rates from our site, and you can, when you're ready to book, which hopefully we will entice you to do, you just click through to the booking page of that property. 
We will also be working very closely with our travel partners, of course, the, the travel agents, because a number of small properties already have relationships with travel agents, and that's another avenue for, for, for um, generating sales. We believe that it will dovetail very nicely with the diaspora program that we have planned, more to follow on that at some time, at some point. And the large amount of work that our sales teams do with the travel trade will be expanded to include the, the, the new brand and the new properties. The, the sales team work one-on-one -on -one with a number of, of our travel partners, so that interaction will also um, include the, the, the brand. We will be running a, a dedicated campaign during the next financial year, which starts in a few weeks' time, um, that is dedicated to small properties and this, this brand. And we also will be including the messaging around that brand in all of the campaigns that we run. So if we run niche campaigns, romance, wellness, families, um, you name it, the, the brand will be a part of that. So it's really going to become an underlying part of, of, of what we do. Our social media will, of course, include very attractive posts that encourage an engagement. We have a very high engagement rate on our posts. Uh, we plan a Did You Know um, series where we will get to know the owners and learn their stories, potentially learn about the communities and include uh, interesting tidbits about, about the communities and the, and the properties. And carousel posts, which allow us to show, because there's so many, um, it would take us, as you can see, over a year to, to, to mention every single one of them, and the numbers keep growing. Timothy's here somewhere, and he sent me a big long list today to add. Are you there? <laughs> Um, so carousel posts will allow us to show a number of properties that are similar and talk about them and, and um, that's a challenge that we are, are very ready for. We have a very robust database of contacts and we will, in social media posts, there's a, an ongoing blog. The blog will include information. Um, visiting media will be encouraged to visit, stay at, talk about these properties. SLTA has a series of newsletters for both consumers and trade. Of course, they will be included in, in um, articles in those. And uh, the international teams of, of SLTA PR in Canada, the US, the UK, uh, will, will support the entire effort, are already supporting the entire effort. So I am very happy to present to you Collection de Pépite, our brand. Thank you, and we have a short video now that we're going to show you that embodies, hopefully, the soul of the brand. Perfect place. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much, Colette, for this wonderful presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, as you just saw, Collection du Pépite. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this evening. Colette mentioned to you about our launch today, and of course, Jorraine took you into the process. And we also heard from Deepa, who provided the legislative framework of this program. You will wonder why we are launching today. And there may have been some holdbacks on launching today, but as we speak today on March 16th, the global industry is opening up. And this is so timely for St. Lucia, as we adding this new product 
this new element, this new strategy for our global market. Competition is what drives tourism, and competition is what will fuel this program for St. Lucia. And competition, along with our energy, along with our zeal, along with our dedication to promote St. Lucia, is what will drive us further into establishing this extensive personal brand that we have launched today called Collection the they put Pupit. So my chairman says, and he all he says uh, he hates acronyms. So if anyone comes up today and say CDP, please, my chair hates acronyms. So I would like you to join me and please, if you're gonna go out and help us sell and market this program and this new brand launch is called Collection de Pepite. Please don't use CDP. It's Collection de Pepite. And we are really happy tonight that we are joined, and I'm, is she around? We are also joined by our French representative who came all the way from Martinique today. Please join me, Annie. So, so Annie is um, instrumental in, in the brand, and Chris is going to speak with Annie later, but I just wanted to introduce Annie. Uh, Chris is going to mention her later. But it's also, as you notice, um, and Colette mentioned about the French influence of the brand. Because as you know, St. Lucia also, we have our French history. And a lot of what sells in the, in, in the global market is your distinction. And this distinction about we being, having this French heritage, this Creole heritage, stands us apart from all our competitors. And today I'm really proud as to, to launch and to endorse this program for the global market. Because as we go into market tomorrow with this program, we will be distinctive, we will be different, we can offer something unique. And the word unique is always used all around the place, but you know, somebody offers a unique experience. We are indeed unique. The, if you see here, the teaser from the video shows you why those 400 selection of properties are indeed something special for the market. Our research has shown us that as we go post-COVID into the endemic, past the pandemic into the endemic, uh, the clients from all global markets are looking for something different, something special, something out of the ordinary. So this collection rebranded and coming together as 400 unique properties offers someone who's looking for luxury, you're looking for wellness, you're looking for chill, relaxation, you're looking for nothing to do at all, you're looking, you know, you've had two years, you, um, you know, I, I hate to say sometimes you, people are saying, I saw in some researches that people are looking for, you know, I've been bad relationships, you know, bad family, whatever it is, I want to come back to something different. Because I just want some free time to just find myself, rediscover myself, and be inspired with what St. Lucia has to offer. And I believe that products that we are launching today captures all these elements for the global market. So we're really proud and we really want to tell our stakeholders tonight that we will take this to market. We do believe that as all, whatever is happening in the global market, this actually adds some really more depth into St. Lucia because it's, it's a way of differentiating us from what everybody else offers. We recognize the fact that we do have our, our other properties and it's not about competing with the other properties but it's actually enhancing the properties. And, and, and we, we, we mentioned in the search that once um, clients are coming to St. Lucia, they're looking for properties. They may know of some of the, the established brands but also people are also looking for a little bit more. And sometimes you are driven, and as the video would show you, you are driven by St. Lucia, because St. Lucia is aspirational for you. But sometimes, maybe you say, oh, this looks lovely, this video looks lovely, this, this villa looks lovely, but can I find something? Can I find a nugget? Can I find a pupit 
that is similar. Can I find this little area in St. Lucia that's, that's going to draw me a little closer to find myself, to revitalize myself, to, to discover, to inspire me to come to St. Lucia? So we are really, really excited tonight that this program will answer all those questions for our, travel, our travelers. And we are also really on the hills of um, ensuring that our airline partners know about this product, so we are also on the heels of expanding even more. Uh, we, we were told that some of the, the areas that we are targeting right now, there's a shortage of, of airlift. So uh, uh, the chair of the airlift committee is here this evening as well. So the strategy is to ensure that we go out to ensure that we have enough of the room, the S, the air seats to encourage those persons, whether you're from the Caribbean, whether you're from the US, Canada, the, uh, the UK or Europe, there will be enough uh, seats for you if you choose to come to St. Lucia. So this is our goal. So we're really excited and, and with this, we just want to say that uh, we will take this to market. We have a, a great strategy for the 400 properties who have registered. We hope that anybody else who hasn't registered, they, get, they become envious. I must say to you that the Caribbean is looking at us even more now that we are expanding all of those products. So, so congratulations to the 400 um, uh, participants who are, will be registering full-fledged into the program. We look forward to taking this to market. Um, as of tomorrow, it's going to become live. We have our website ready, and we look forward to sharing and, ex and enhancing St. Lucia's accommodation capacity with this launch of this new product. So thank you again to all our partners who have joined us this evening. Thank you for, um, thank you of course to the direction of the, our Honorable Minister Dr. Hilaire for uh, endorsing this, part, this program and taking it forward as we look forward to, to future growth for St. Lucia. So thank you again and thank you everyone for joining us this evening. Let me express my sincere appreciation to everyone who's turned up here tonight to celebrate the launch. And I must admit, when I first heard of the product, and the name was presented to me, I think like most of you, I may have had a difficulty in getting the pronunciation right. And I had to practice and to make sure that I got it right. And I'm still not even sure that I have it right. And I must also indicate to you that for me it's a really special occasion to, to launch the collection tonight. And the reason why is because, and I want you to reflect upon it, why do we want to have a successful tourism industry in St. Lucia? Of course, There'll be individuals who will make money as entrepreneurs, investors. But there must be a deeper reason why we want to have a successful tourism industry. We want a successful tourism industry because we want to create sustainable livelihoods for our people. That's essentially what it is all about. For other people, there'll be other reasons. But from a public policy perspective, it's about creating sustainable livelihoods for our people. But how do you create sustainable livelihoods in an industry such as this? First of all, your people must accept it. Secondly, your people must participate in it. And thirdly, your people must own it. And if you start reflecting on those three core principles, you can start appreciating why this collection is so important. Because it represents an opportunity for our people to, be, to participate and to own the tourism industry. It cannot be sustainable if our people cannot see their reflection in it. And therefore, this is what, most importantly, it offers. And I think it has to be sustainable. And for it to be sustainable, our people must accept it. And I will say a few words on this a little later on. So when this was first presented to me, I did ask for some further reflection on it, some further refinement. Why? Because it had to fit in this perspective of what we want the tourism industry for. And in many ways, I believe we've probably reached a point where it fits nicely in our overall thrust in this tourism industry. 
And that is to move away from a predominance of resort-based experiences. For too long, and if you reflect on it, our Tourism Incentives Act, our legislative framework, is really geared towards accommodation and large accommodations. The marketing has been geared towards promoting St. Lucia, largely, not totally, on resort-based experiences. And we needed to start that shift. And you would have heard from, I think, Colette earlier on, who spoke about the need, how it came about. But maybe there is something about the coincidence and the beauty of coincidences. Because bec that process of certification for COVID that brought forward all those properties that needed support was really showing us a pathway for the future for our tourism industry. And by having these properties and marketing them as an experience in St. Lucia, we've added value to our tourism products. And I think it fits in nicely. And I'm one who believes that you must always build on the successes of the past. You don't always have to come in and believe the past was all bad and you needed to get rid of it. You really need to reflect on it and see the value and the strengths of it and how you can refine it and make it fit in what you want to achieve. And this fits in nicely. Only last week we launched the Community Tourism Bill. Well, it's now an act. And in there is another product. This one speaks of finding the right place. The Community Tourism is about finding the right solution, authentic experience. It's really going to focus on how we can sell to the world authentic solution experiences in the various communities, the basket weaver, the bar, the restaurant, the accommodation, whatever it is that speaks of an authentic solution experience, it will fall under the community tourism bill. And therefore, when you add this, you can now understand the range of options St. Lucia will be presenting. So I think this is an excellent addition. And for the, all the hard work that has been done in the past and presently, I think we should applaud every single one that has taken us to this point where we are. I am told the first level of support that will be given is for collective marketing. To, to promote it, to sell it to the world as a distinctive St. Lucian experience, a distinct St. Lucian brand. I think we need to reflect on how we can offer more for this particular collection and to show that it is more than just the marketing and the branding. We have to be able to give it more support and to ensure its success. And I think the team will have to examine further how we can offer more than just branding and marketing of the, the collection. So as we continue to, to examine the tourism industry and how to make it more sustainable and to bring more benefit for our people, to create more ownership for our people, we've started over the last few days a review of the incentives and concessions framework in St. Lucia that is really through two primary legislative um, instruments. We have started reviewing it and some of you have part participated in those consultations and I want to encourage you to continue to participate where we can now come up with a Tourism Development Act that broadens the scope for St. Lucians to participate in the tourism industry, to really move away from the predominance of the accommodation sector and resort experiences to other experiences, the dive sectors, the transportation sector, to make it world class and to ensure that St. Lucia can offer a product that is total, that is holistic, and, and really meets those standards that we, we speak of. So tonight, I certainly want to applaud everyone that has worked to make this a success. And for hosting us here tonight, I want to say a special thank you to our host. It's a fantastic place that you have here. And I'm sure everyone will agree with that. So we want to thank you for, for hosting us tonight. The CEO spoke about, you know, St. Lucia is opening up, the world is opening up. Just looking at some of you tonight, you can see things have changed. You, know, you can see. And, I, I can tell you for 
some of us, now that we have no confinement or curfews, it means greater latitude to stay up late at night. And so, so I even heard today there's an announcement that Rosalie Friday night will resume. Um, you know, I can tell you for a fact that we will have carnival this year, God willing, in July. Um, so the world is opening up, and there are there's an urging out there for people to, to travel once again, to visit places, and St. Lucia must be ready. Even before I became minister, a lot of hard work had been done to open up St. Lucia and to strategically position ourselves. We will continue that work. We will be even greater efforts to make sure that St. Lucia is successful in the years to come. So thank you very much for being here tonight. Let's enjoy tonight and let's continue to support the Collection de Pépites. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister, and I invite you to remain at the podium. We present this Certificate to Vacation Rental Association on the commemoration of the official launch of Collection de Pépites, dated the 16th day of March 2022. I present the Minister to present to you. So I'm going to message with Mr. Minister of Tourism. I'm going to talk to you because we have a collection of pipites. I'm going to support you. Is that right? So I'm going to talk to you. I'm adopt the protocol that we have for us. And I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to Parole en créole parce que c'est le premier langage que je parle avant de parler anglais. Mais moi, ça va dire que les gens ici ne peuvent pas comprendre le créole. Donc, je vais parler anglais à présent. Donc, merci à la Ministre de la Tourisme, la Ministre de la Tourisme. Il y a tellement de choses que je peux dire. Donc, je vais essayer d'organiser mes pensées pour les dire en ordre, vous savez. La Vacation Rental Association a été formée en juin 2020. And I think what really prompted the, the formation of the association was the intention of the government to pass two bills in, in, in parliament at the time, um, in that same month. I think it was the Tourism Levy Act and the um, St. Lucia Tourism Authority Amendment Act. The Amendment Act was to enable the SLTA to become a revenue collection agency. And of course, the Tourism Levy was introduced to collect, of course, as it says, a levy from various properties operating in the accommodation sector. Um, of course, there were some components in the bill at the time which robbed many accommodation providers the wrong way. I will not go into detail at this time. Um, I think many of you would know. And so the bill in its form at the time had to be taken back and reformulated to become more acceptable um, to operators in the, in the sector. Now, I saw that the collection of PP speaks to properties um, in 35 rooms and under, which is a bit surprising to me because I'm thinking of properties five rooms and under. And I'm saying this because I think the existing legislation, the Tourism Incentive Act, speaks to um, only properties with six rooms and above being able to access um, incentives. So I thought the 35 was a bit out there. Um, and I'm saying this also because the majority of our membership, um, which now stands in excess of 250 members, representing over 1,000 rooms on the island, I think the majority would be three rooms or thereabouts. Um, but you do have persons owning one room, an apartment, and so forth. And I'll mention some names. And if you have not visited these properties as yet, please do so. Um, we have um, City Oasis in Arundel Hill in Marsha a super host, which means they have met top quality standards consistently um, for several months. That's Arundel Hill in Marsha. Might be surprising to some of you. Um, we have Michael's Place in Balata. Um, we have Sunny Palm Villas um, in Labri, refers her tonight. Um, so the collection does not also only speak to um, the luxury properties, but quite a range spread out over the entire island. Admittedly, the concentration of properties is in Grosile, um, Soufre, and Labri. 
But I think with the advent of community tourism, which the minister spoke to um, earlier on, we would like to see the spread of the accommodation sector throughout the length and breadth of St. Lucia. Uh, we have some communities that are underserved. Uh, I think the districts of Denry, Mikud, um, I think Ancillary, Canaries, because I think they have nuggets in all of those um, communities that visitors can access. Um, certainly in Canaries, we have the, um, how you call it, is it Kako, certainly, see? If I'm not mistaken. It's an experience that visitors would, I mean, I haven't done the, exp um, the visit yet, and I'd love to at some point, but each community has its own nugget that visitors can enjoy, you know? Um, so for the last two years, I've spent quite a bit of time onboarding a lot of new owners onto the vacation rental ladder, and you can see the joy on the face when they get that first booking, and when that first booking translates into an actual stay at the property, and when that stay translates into a deposit into the bank account via wire transfer. It's such a, I mean, that's all, a, it's such a pleasurable experience, yeah? In addition to what I get from my own properties as well. <laughs> so um, I'd like to, um, to dedicate this plaque to, um, to the rest of the board of the Vacation Rentals Association. We've worked tirelessly on a volunteer basis to really get the properties on board, um, to get them certified, bring up the standards so as much as possible. And I know there's more work to be done. And so this is dedicated to them. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Mr. Leos. And just to show our, I'm not to use the acronym, I remember that, Chairman. <laughs> Our collection de pepit properties, what the certificate will look like once you have been endorsed into the program. This is what your certificate, or should we say your accreditation, will be. So we invite everyone to sign up, complete that survey, and get on board. Thank you. It's my privilege to have been asked to propose the vote of thanks on this occasion. On behalf of the Ministry of Tourism, the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, and by extension, the St. Lucia Hospitality and Tourism Association, we are delighted that we are on a new and impactful journey, bringing collection de pipit to life. Special thanks to the product development team at the Ministry of Tourism, who were instrumental in shaping this product, along with our team at the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. True story, when we thought of a name, we were trying to find one that the fit was just perfect. We hit many roadblocks. By the, by the final name, but the final name was the brainchild of our marketing representative for the French West Indies, Miss Annie Lafroy. Annie, come and share some. Come and get some love, come and get some love. Yeah, Annie, tonight we see a special thank you for invoking the peace, for this piece of our French heritage into the name and for coming all the way from Martinique to join us on this special occasion. Your contribution and presence is tremendously valued. Special thanks to the management of Villa Exil for facilitating the use of this venue. And I want to tell a little story about the villa. The first time I came here was, I think, last week, Friday. And I, I was just amazed. So I went home and I told my wife, babes, we have two choices in this life. We're going to either have to work harder or win the lotto, whichever one comes first. <laughs> but it, it really is an amazing, amazing property. And we love the fact that we get a chance to showcase it today. I'd like to also special thanks to Events and Lucia. I mean, the place looks be beautiful, the setup, immaculate. And you know, what we know for sure is just a sampling of what you'll have to offer. To our specially invited guests, our speakers, and participating properties in the program, your presence here tonight has signaled your commitment to moving a great product forward. My colleagues at the SLTA, I want to give them a big thank you. You know, um, every, time you, every time you're developing something new, you know, it takes a while to, to, to develop. And I want to really 
spotlight our team at the SLTA for working together and really becoming a family. They, I, I mean, I really trust my team and I know that they have, and, and I know that we have each other's back and I think that's very important in any working environment. So I'm gonna give a round of applause for my team, for the team. I also want to give a special thanks to the St. Lucia Tourism Authority's Marketing Committee who endorsed this program. A special thanks to Mr. Leos as well, you know. Um, I saw he um, introduced the program and um, he, he started speaking in Creole. And I was like, maybe I should try that. <laughs> but I remembered I was raised in Marsha and Bernan and we specialize in only the bad words. <laughs> so thank you for always going above and beyond to ensure that the destination can always be showcased as the creme de la creme of the Caribbean and amongst the meccas of the international industry. Let's go out there and boast of our little pots of gold, our special gems, our collection they repeat as we trust that everyone will find a sweet spot in a place that is most special or valuable to, their, to them. Please join us for some refreshments. Do have a good night, and I wish everyone a safe journey home. Thank you. Thank you.